Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be having a look at a Lenovo. This is a G50-70. It's quite a big laptop. Uh, this one's got a failed drive, so we're going to be replacing it today. Okay, so this one should be fairly straightforward. Um, it's just a matter of removing this panel here. Uh, so we've got three screws on the bottom of it. Uh, we should be able to take that apart. And we can then also get to the fan and give that a good clean up as well as part of it. So this has got a mechanical hard drive in at the moment and uh, it's basically sitting running at 100%. So we're not even going to be bothering to uh, clone it or anything like that. We are literally going to just replace it with a new drive and then do a fresh copy of Windows 10, not Windows 11. So we're going to do a fresh copy of Windows 10 on here. Let's just make sure that all these are undone properly so we can get this cover off. Okay, so we might need to go around this way to get into here. If we can get under there, yep. Okay, so some quite tight clips to get under and off. Okay, and I think, yes, it's just clips. There we go. Get the three screws. Okay, so also we're going to give the fan a bit of a clean out because this is uh, pretty dirty. And I can hear some plastic wobbling around. Now that's not from the clips. That is all we need to do on here really. So we're going to replace this uh, and to get this out we've got three screws We're going to remove them. So this is a one terabyte drive. Uh, we are not going to, or I'm not going to replace this with another terabyte drive because this is for um, a local business just down the road and they are only going to need 256 gig of storage. So we're going to put a 256 gig SSD drive. So once you've done the screws, this will just slide forward and unclip from there. And then we want to keep the, uh, the casing. So we're going to get a drive out. So we're going to be using a Crucial BX500, which will be more than adequate for this machine. Okay, so all we need to do when we're doing this is just to make sure that it lines up and we get the right brackets on the right side. So that's that bracket off, and we know that that's got to go on that way. One then. Oh, it's all about fiddly. And then the same on this side. Okay, so that will then just slot in like that. We can get the screws back in. Right, so that's the drive installed. Now we can get the cover back on. Which just slides into place like that. Okay, so that's the cover done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the rest of the screws, make sure they're nice and tight because actually, oh, quite a lot of these are loose. 
and there's a couple missing as well. So we'll just retighten those up. Right, so that's the drive installed. The next thing we need to do now is to get a copy of Windows 10 installed. Uh, fairly straightforward, so you need a USB bootable drive with the Windows 10 installation on it. Um, and then um, you shouldn't need a license key uh, because this is like a, a, it's a Lenovo, so there'll be a, a manufacturer's OEM key that should automatically activate. All right, so that's the initial installation done. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go and get this hooked up to the Wi-Fi, and then we're going to go to the Lenovo website and download all the relevant drivers for the platform. And then once that's done, we're going to run the Windows update and get it up to the latest version. Once that's done, um, we're then going to come back because we then need to transfer what we've got on the drive here, the data, onto the system itself. Okay, so we've now got the laptop all built up and what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, SATA adapter. We're going to connect it to our one terabyte drive and we're going to try and extract the data off here. So connect it like that and then take the USB cable and I'm going to plug that into the USB 3 port to get the, uh, the highest transfer speeds. And then hopefully that should just appear within Windows once it's recognised the drive and the partitions. You can hear it whirring away, it's not been recognised yet. But the drive is spinning. Okay, so it's not appeared yet. So let's just have a look in the uh, disk manager to see if it can see it in there. Okay, so we can see it, but it's saying it is offline. So let's just See if we can online it. There we go. So we've had to do a right click on the drive itself and bring it online because it didn't bring it online itself. So let's now have a look and see what we can see on our local disk. Okay, so we want to go into users and we want to go into here. Okay, so let's see if we can see things, which we can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all of this, excluding OneDrive, and I'm gonna copy that. And I'm now going to go to the C drive, into our users here. I'm gonna paste all of the data in. So this will take a little while to copy over. Let's just move that to there so we can see what we're doing. And then what this is going to do, this is going to copy all the data. It's going to copy all the data from this one terabyte drive in the, the user data in that drive and it's going to put it onto the, uh, onto the laptop for us. So once that's done, we can then clean the laptop and then get it back to our customer. And there we go. So this is, this is all the data copying over now. This is all the user data copying over now, I should say, not all the data. Um, and, then, and then once this is finished, bit of a clean up and that's it. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.